have a massive amount of sweaters. Sweaters and all things fall and cozy and warm and yeah, anti-anemic. Cause I'm anemic so I'm like, I be super cold all the time. Like even when it's not that cold, I'm like freezing. I have to always be like super warm. So these sweaters are all about that for my fall haul. Um, it's gonna consist of Primark and Zara. I'll jump right into it so we're not blabbing a lot. The first thing is this, kind of like I guess a crew neck. I don't even know if it's a crew neck. But um, this is a really nice gray, like a heather gray sweater. I love the details on the arm. It has like a little belt around it with a little buckle. And then it splits on the sleeves. Also splits on the side. And it's like the long short effect where the front is short and the back is long. This material is so soft. I have no idea what this is made of. But it is the softest, nicest, coziest feeling ever against your skin. It's not the hairy kind that you can't wear. Um, by itself or just with something sleeveless because it feels really good up against your skin. This was only 16 euro. Next thing I got is this mustard sweater similar to the last one um, just with a little bit of detail on the sleeve. I love stuff like this because I have a lot of basic sweaters in my closet. Um, they're just plain so I love ones that have little details that make it a little bit different from the other sweater. And this one has the same concept that it comes all the way up the neck. This one was only also 16 euro as well. And it's also a nice soft material that feels really good against the skin, not the fuzzy scratchy kind. Then I got this brown, I don't even know what to call this kind of pattern, but I love this. I thought this was so cute. I saw it on the rack and I remember running towards it. First of all, Primark in Europe, we just got Primark in the States like I think last year, but Primark in Europe is like a huge deal because tourists from all over the world shop in these places and they're always crowded, it's hard to get to. I'm in Primark and this sweater is like across the store and I have this thing where I, if I'm in a store, if I like walk around, I can almost spot something out the corner of my eye. So I saw this on a rack all the way across the store. I'm making a beeline towards the rack and as I go over there, I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it, no one else is looking at it and then I look up and it's on the mannequin and it's almost like two other people saw me looking and then they ran towards it and I'm like, tranquilo, tranquilo, like I'm not relaxed, like I'm going to look at it, pick my size and leave it, it's all yours. Crazy thing is, there were only um, extra larges left, and I actually got this one in a 10. With Primark sizing, it's weird. I think I normally wear like a 6, but I can never find the smaller sizes. So I always like, for chunky sweaters or big stuff like this, I size up. This was also 16 euro. Then, oh, this just feels so soft just holding it. I just want to like wrap myself in it and like go get a cup of tea and watch TV. Anyway, this is a long line cardigan. So I'm like obsessed with long line cardigans lately because I can wear bodysuits underneath it. It has like a sexy silhouette and then this just covers you on the outside. It's cozy, but you still get to show you're sexy on the inside with the bodysuit. This is the cutest cardigan ever. It has deep pockets on the side. I love the print and the pattern. This was actually 19 euro. And this is gonna be trending um, this season. This particular print in cardigans like these type of cardigans like a statement cardigan is what they're calling it so if you see something like this grab it because it's definitely going to be in um for this season and probably for the next season to come then i also got <laughs> another sweater and the funny thing about this sweater this is the most hilarious thing ever if you live in europe you guys know how your primarks are you have to go early in the morning or it's going to be too crowded you can't go i'm in primark and this is the one thing that i witnessed this in new york because of course we're a major city and we have a lot of tourists that come here as well but like if anybody's watching this that's from a country that this is normal please comment below and let me know where this is normal because i have still yet to pinpoint in what society or culture is it normal to like shop on top of somebody or just like like be on them while they're looking at something so i'm looking at this sweater right is the last one i actually got the associate to take it um, to get it from the top of the rack and it was the last one at the top and the mannequin had it on as well so of course it was a I demand item. I'm looking at the sweater. This lady walks up to me. No lie. Two ladies. The sweater's on the hair and I'm holding it like this. She walks up to it and she... I'm like... I'm sorry. Did you... What? Did you want... What, what are you... Did you want this? Like, you want it... Lady, I'm I'm holding it in my hand. There's not even, like, a rack of them behind me. It's the only one. So you can't even tell me you mistakenly thought that it was a part of the rack. No. Like, you actually came up to me and... Who does that? Who does that? So, I guess... Like, my reaction, I, I had to, like, I'm literally in the middle. 
of Primark in Amsterdam and my East Atlanta came out like literally the east side of Atlanta came out and I'm like what you you want this like what 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 a problem is like what it is like what so her friend was like oh my god I'm so sorry I'm so sorry and I'm like where y'all come from where is y'all from that this is normal because this is not normal like somebody's looking at something let them rock circle the area you know what i'm saying howling like a shark wait till she put it down but come up to the person while they're holding it and touch it didn't even say oh i like that nothing just so anyway long story short this cardigan after the whole situation um i think it was 16 man it was either 16 or 14 year old i was actually surprised it wasn't 19 like the other one but i loved it because it's nice and chunky and it has um the waterfall neckline and then it also comes across because it has two little things here where i can pin it across my neck so that's going to be perfect for layering in the winter then last but not least from primark i got this um denim button down i don't know i have a ton of denim button downs in my closet but i'm always looking for ones in different shades because i feel like some go with different colored jeans and they go better like this might go with a really nice dark blue denim pant like you know what I mean like different shades of denim to me are nice so I got this one it was only and I got lipstick on the collar nice it was only um 11 euro and I love the way it fits it was nice and fitted like most of my denim button downs are kind of loose like some are loose that I can just wear you know on top of other things with the buttons open and then some are fitted where I can just wear them buttoned down tucked in with the belt so I like that this one um, was nice and fitted in this color too. Now on to Zara. Oh wait, so Primark. The last thing from Primark is actually this sweater that I'm wearing. And it just says Amsterdam. I loved how cute it was. It just looked so cozy and just, I mean simple. A basic sweater with the letter Amsterdam. The Amsterdam written across the chest I thought was so cute. This is only six euro. Like six euro. I was like, oh my God, I love this. This is so cute. Anyway, I went to Zara. I haven't been in Zara in a while just because um, I never have time to shop. And I've been trying to like save my money because the whole renovation thing with the apartment was so expensive. And you know, shopping for me, I'm just trying to like hone it in a little bit because I'm always shopping. And the crazy thing is, it's actually been working. So you guys remember my finance videos that I was doing um, a few months back? Yeah, so um, let me know if you guys actually like those because they actually didn't get a lot of hits so I wasn't really sure if the feedback was just that you guys didn't really care about stuff like that or should I start a separate channel that talks about that but I wanted to include like a lot of lifestyle issues in my channel so I thought it'd be cute or a good idea I guess to include it but my Bank of America app was telling me that I was spending $890 more than I actually make every month so basically the income to debt ratio was off and I'm like why how am I spending $890 a month and it's probably because I pay my credit cards off in full every month even if I have to like take a little bit more than I normally do to clear the, the credit card. And I think that's why I said that. But since I've cut out the shopping, like that number has gone down at least $250. So I'm really happy about that. So anyway, I haven't been in Zara that much lately. And uh, I went this time and I was happy. I only picked up a few things. I tried to only get essentials. This whole walk into the register like this, those days for me, I need to fall back. Like, because you see my closet, like, it's insane. Like, you guys see in the background sometimes that I'm like, oh, I'm going to consolidate. And when I consolidate, it feels like nothing has even moved. I'll purge my closet, send stuff to Jamaica, like, send stuff to family. Like, I do all kind of stuff, consign, donate, and it still looks like I have a ton of stuff. So I'm usually frustrated. Anyway, I went to Zara, got this t-shirt. It is so cute. It just says Paris in pink letters with fur and then accents of pearls, like, all over it. I thought that was so cute. Very simple, not a lot, but I just love that. And it was only 15 euro. Then I've been obsessed with these pants lately. The pants with the stripe. I've been obsessed because I actually had a pair of pants like this when I was in, was I in like the eighth grade? Maybe 10th grade. I can't even remember what grade I was in. But I was obsessed with pants with stripes on the side. My mom knew, knew it. So like, I had one pair that I wore all the freaking time. And you guys know when you're in high school or when you're in middle school, Wearing something over and over is not cool because everyone's like, oh, you always wear the same things, but I love my pants with stripes. And so when these came back in style, I'm like, yes, I'm never gonna throw these away. I'm going to just keep them. And when they come back, I'll already have a pair. But these are only 19 euro and they just have a red stripe going down the side accented with white. They fit perfect and it's a very thick material. Like you cannot see through it. That's what I love. That's my test when I buy tights, I hold it up to the light 
And if I could see through it, I don't want to buy it because that means the wind is going to go right through it. It does nothing for me in the winter. These are actually a really thick material. The light does not pass through, so I'm all about that. I also got them in thick white stripe. So instead of the red with the white accents, I just got one with the thick white stripe. I know it seems like the same thing, but I'm obsessed with these pants. So for me, it's totally different. These are also 19 euro. And I love that they were fitted to the ankle as well, like true tights form but almost like a tight blended with a pant, like tights and pants at the same time, if that makes sense. Then last but not least from Zara, I did get a pair of trousers. Um, this is also trending right now, this print, whether it's in a blazer or a pants form, this is trending big time right now. So I got this one um, for only 20, yeah, it was 25 euro. And I just love how casual and cool it is. It's very simple, very cute. It'd be nice with like ankle boots. Very easy to dress up in pair. So that is it for my haul. I truly hope you guys enjoyed it. I couldn't decide if I should like, like today was the day that I was supposed to like shoot this video. I'm supposed to finish editing some other videos, my vlogs. Um, I was supposed to do laundry and I washed my hair this morning. So it's nice and fluffy. And then I kept trying to decide like, should I go to the city? So I go buy a few more pieces from Zara, make it a separate haul, Zara haul, part of my car. And I was like, girl, you know what? You trying to save money. Slow your roll. You trying to save money. You good. Like what you got is good. Because your closet is not. So let's just, you know, baby steps. Baby steps. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next haul. Got a hella positive because she got a big booty.